In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to ask for a raise. And I imagine if you've arrived at this video, one of two things is happening. One, you feel you're underpaid, or two, you feel like you just wanna make more money. Either way, by the end of this video, I'm gonna teach you how to do just that. I'm gonna teach you what you need to do pre-conversation, how to approach having the conversation, and what to do if they say yes, maybe, or no. Now, my first piece of advice is you need to be armed with data, right? You need to understand what you're being paid now, is that reasonable given the market? Now, there are a lot of places you could go to get this information. You can go to indeed.com, you can go to salary.com, or you can go to glassdoor.com, but either way, I would go to all three of these websites, I would check it out, I would look for your area, your industry, someone with your experience, and try to find out if what you are making makes sense for the market. But before you ever go into any conversation, if there is data available, you should absolutely get it, and when it comes to salary negotiation, it's no different. The next thing I want you to do pre-conversation is I want you to think about timing. Is this good timing to ask for a raise? Because the reality is if you go to your boss and it is a great time to ask for a raise or it is a terrible time to ask for a raise, this could definitely impact the outcome. So before you ever do that, you need to understand. For example, did you just have a record quarter, right? That might be a great time to ask for a raise. Did your company just experience layoffs? That could be a bad time to ask for a raise. Context is important, situation is important, and before you ever go and have that conversation, I want you to think about it because the way um, things are going for your company could absolutely impact the probability of success when it comes to asking for a raise. The next thing you need to know is when was the last time you got an increase in salary? Now for many of you, you probably know this, but if it's been a bit, maybe you don't remember when that happened. So look that up because that is important context. When you go to your boss and you can say something like, I haven't received a raise in two and a half years, there's a lot of power there as opposed to saying, you know, I haven't received a, a raise in four and a half months. If you're a top performer and you have not you know, received an increase in compensation, um, then you're actually losing money. It's like getting a pay decrease because of inflation. So knowing when the last time you received an increase due to performance is an incredible important component to the conversation. One of the last things I want you to do pre-conversation um, is I want you to try to take into consideration when your company typically does this, right? So I don't know if you have an HR person or perhaps you've just been with the company for a while and you're familiar, but if your company does this on a semi-annual or annual basis, the odds of them doing it just at some random point in the year might be lower. So that's another point. So if you're thinking about asking for a raise, but maybe you don't have your yearly review for two months, well, two months right now might be a much better time to ask this because you're actually in a conversation in which that would typically take place. So think about that too. I want you to take that into consideration. When does your company typically do this? Is that semi-annually, annually? If you can get on that schedule, I think it increases the probability of you actually receiving that raise. Now, how do you go about doing this? So there's a few things, right? If you have a meeting, right, where you're about to do a review or you have a quarterly one-on-one uh, -on -one meeting you do, or, or maybe it's just even a, a, you know, a monthly or a weekly meeting, um, you need a meeting in place. Now, if you don't have a meeting like that scheduled with your boss, that's a problem. Your boss should have a meeting with you. But if you do, that would be a good time. If you don't, then maybe you wanna schedule something and just let your boss know, hey, I wanna have a conversation with you about my career. I'm gonna throw a 30 minute invite on your calendar. Um, you know, Let me know if you have any questions. And then go into that meeting. Now, what do you need to do to prepare? Do you need a deck? Do you need a PowerPoint? Do you need an extensive presentation? I would say no. Now, I don't think you need to prepare, but you need to, um, you know, I don't think you need to prepare like something as in depth as that. You don't need to show them, hey, uh, I made this PowerPoint, here's a graph of my performance, but you do need to be prepared to speak to it. So what does that look like? Well, if I was you, I would take a running inventory of what you've done. You know, since your last raise, what have they asked you to do? Have you taken on more? Has your job grown? Has your responsibility grown? Has your scope grown? How are you compared to the other people doing your role? One of the things that I would do is I would look at myself and see, okay, here's how I'm doing, here's the statistics. If they have any sort of like visibility, um, as to how you're doing compared to your contemporaries, it would be great to be able to go to them and saying, since my last raise, I've taken on A, B, and C responsibility. Here are the goals you've set in front of me. I've exceeded them by 15%. And if you look at um, you know, my stats compared to the other people who sit in my seat, you know, I'm a top 10% performer. Those are strong things to do. So before you go into the conversation, I need you to prepare those things. Um, how, uh, how have you done since your last increase? What have they asked you to take on additional to what you're currently doing? And how are you doing relative to your peers? Now you're in the meeting. How do you ask for the raise? Okay, so 
Two things, I'm gonna tell you how to do this right now, but I'm also going to drop this template in the description box. So when you're done with this video, you can go there and you can find it. That way you can practice it because the reality is you want this to be smooth. If it comes off and it's all jumbled and you sound nervous, you're not going to be perceived as confident and that might hurt your chances in getting this raise. If they see you as timid or someone who's like, ah, you know, I could, I could do this. Um, you know, or I could use this increase. Maybe they won't be as likely to do it, but if you come off as someone who's confident and you have conviction that is something you deserve, this is going to help you. So first things first, when you're done, this will actually be in the description box. You can find it there, um, but I'm gonna go through it right now. So you wanna say to them, um, hey, I'd love to have a discussion about my compensation. It's been 15 months since my last raise. Uh, since then, I've added A, B, and C responsibilities to my work, and I've exceeded the goals that have been put in front of me. Can we talk about adjusting my salary to reflect how my role has evolved? That is a general outline. So A, B, and C means these are different tasks you've taken on. Um, if you have um, exceeded your goals, if you have numbers to back that up, I would insert that there. But just generally speaking, when you're talking to them, that's how you open it up. Be like, hey, thank you for your time today. I'd love to have a discussion about my compensation. Uh, it's been two years since my last raise, and since that time, I've actually taken on A, B, and C. Um, I've hit my goals, I'm exceeding them by 15%. Here's how I'm doing relative my, to my peers. Can we talk about adjusting my salary to have, you know, impact how my role has evolved? And that is a great start um, into actually having this conversation. Now, a few things will happen. They could say, yes, let's talk about it. Um, you know, and, and then you can enter in a discussion. And that's where it, ha it makes sense to um, have the data of what people in this role are making. But I, you know, depending on your manager, depending on how things are done, it'll be fluid um, from there. Now, the other thing um, that might happen is they might say maybe and go, okay, um, and then ask them, for a follow-up time. Be like, okay, well, when would be a good time for us to revisit this? I know we're meeting again in a month. Would that be an appropriate time to revisit this conversation? That way you give them time to think about it, um, come up with some numbers, and if they value you as an employee, and if it's possible for them to do so, that'll be a good time for you to have that conversation. Now, no. What if they say no to you? What if you go through all this, you write down all your stuff, and they go, ah, no. I, I, ben, I'm sorry, I don't see that happening. What do you do then? Um, so this is really important because a no shouldn't just be a no to you. You shouldn't take no and go, ah, I guess I'll just never make more money. Don't do that. Um, from here you go, okay, well, I appreciate you taking the time to talk to me. What I think might help me is if you could talk me through what I need to do um, in, order to, um, in order for you to feel I deserve an increase in compensation, right? So make them lay out to you, here are the things you need to do in order for you to get a compensation increase, right? So. Have them tell you, here are the things I would expect, here's the timeline, ask questions about it, probe around it, but make sure you have, if A, you will get B. Now, what happens if you ask that and go, yeah, Ben, Ben, I'm, I'm gonna stop you right there. It's not on the table. We're not gonna give you an increase. My advice there is then look for a new role. <laughs> I'm dead serious. If they can't give you anything, if they can't tell you what you need to do, uh, then you probably need to be looking elsewhere. And I don't advise people flippantly just to go look for a new job, but if you come to them with prepared information, you've thought through all these things, you've given them examples of why you deserve a raise, it's been an appropriate amount of time, you're on their timeline, things are going well for your company, and they won't tell you what you need to do in order to receive a, way, um, a raise, well, then you need a new company. Well, there you have it. Uh, that is everything I wanted to cover in this video. That should give you a pretty good starting point. Good luck in your next interview. Good luck asking for your raise. You got this.